Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Carly Flanagan. We're going to begin tonight with an update on the Biden administration's response to America's concerns on how his first year of his presidency has gone. With the president's focus on matters in Russia and Ukraine, many Americans feel he has not adequately addressed domestic issues, such as the coronavirus, the economy, racial injustice, and climate change. Citizens are concerned with Biden's lack of effort made to put a stop to the coronavirus pandemic. Biden, however, reminded Americans that the vaccines remain available and have prevented many deaths. Biden's efforts in the economy are mixed. While 6 million Americans have joined the workforce during his presidency, economists, however, are concerned that America has been flooded with cash, which they fear could lead to uncontrolled inflation. As for racial injustice, many activists feel that he only delivered words and not a plan, and they are seeking marching orders. Biden began addressing the climate just a week into his presidency, but it seems that a year later, his progress has not maintained that focus. Jamal Rod, executive director of the Climate Advocacy Group of Evergreen Action, claimed that, quote, efforts have not moved far enough and fast enough. Turning to state news, Indiana lawmakers have advanced the bill to prohibit transgender females from performing in women's sports activities. It is a Republican-backed bill that was issued on Monday. Kit Malone, advocacy strategist for the ACLU of Indiana, argues, quote, there is no place in Indiana where trans girls have taken over girls' sports teams. Trans people, by whatever name you used to call them, are your neighbors, your friends, your family members, students, and your schools. How can we possibly do this? This is yet another setback for transgender Hoosiers, as this is not the first bill to be put in order and will likely not be the last. Fortunately, there is some hope. A proposed ban on gender-affirming medical care for minors, including surgeries or prescribed hormones, regardless of parental approval, was defeated with bipartisan support. Ending on a lighter note with local news, the Middle Waves Festival is coming back. Co-chair Beth McAfee says that the two-day event will begin June 17th on the Follinger Theater campus. The lineup is yet to be finalized and will be announced in the spring. Since the event is held outdoors, it is unlikely to be canceled as they continue to coordinate with the Allen County Health Department and are keeping up with the coronavirus advances. Previous musical guests at the festival include The Flaming Lips, MGMT, and Lizzo. Tickets can be purchased online at middlewaves.com. Previously purchased tickets for the postponed 2020 festival will be honored automatically. Thank you for joining us today. I'm Carly Flanagan and have a great night.